There you go. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome to Maran Shir. Hashem. Just an interesting insight. Yesterday was um, the yard site of um, Rabbi Dov Avram, um, the, the Basain, the one who wrote the Setar Basain. He's in Tzfas, he's a very holy Jew. And in the Sefer Basain, he says something very interesting. Uh, about this this week's Parsha, I heard it from somebody, that, um, you know, Yaakov Avinu is approaching Esau, and uh, he is, he doesn't know what's going to happen, so he puts the children of the, of the Shvachos first, and their children, then Leah and her children, and then um, Rachel and you know and, and Yosef last. So Rashi says uh, a rather peculiar thing. He says, "Acharon, acharon, chaviv." In other words, the the one he put last is the one that he likes the best and it's it's when you think of it it's a little bit difficult to understand i mean it's a what he's is he's because he likes them you know rachel and yosef the most he, he saves them and he puts the other one as like a you know a cannon fodder before like a buffer it doesn't sound too good you know it's a, a so, you know, yes, there is la locha, you know, a question if you can save these and not these. I mean, if you can save one, the locha, you know, guidelines as to who it is that you save. It's a halachic thing, you know, but acharon, acharon, chaviv, you know, uh, is not a halachic kind of... of Definition. It sounds like a, uh, you know, because he likes them more, so he wants to save them. It, it, so the Basain says a marvelous thing is the whole Indian, this whole Indian is, is supposedly a, a running theme in his safer. And that is, um, he says, being that. The 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 children of the or the maidens of the shvachos. We see later on, you know, with Yosef and uh, that um, they were they had a lesser stature, you know, than than the the children of 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 the wives of Rachel and, and Leah. And we know that that Rachel was Yaakov's favorite. So the children of Leah also, I mean, they had a higher stature than the children of of the Shvachos, of the, the maiden servants, but it was less than Rachel, because Rachel was the main one that uh that Yaakov Avinu worked, you know, acquiesced to work for love on four. So he says that their lower stature made them feel uh, humble. You know, maybe feel like, like lesser, inferior, humble. And Yaakov Avinu figured that this humility will save them. So the one that is the most humble went first. 
the one that is a little bit less humble, the children of Leah, went second. And the one that had the least, you know, they were the, the chosen, as it were, you know, Rachel and Yosef, they are the one that, that went last because they did not have the, uh, the, uh, the shield of humility, of being on a lower status. I think this is an incredible, incredible vatera. It illuminates the whole thing. Now Rashi makes perfect sense. And so the, since the last one is the, the, the most preferable one, the, the most beloved, they had the, the least uh, amount of protection. And the most humble went first. It's wonderful. Just, just wanted to touch it. And I thought it was a Okay, let's take a quick look here. So, short encapsulation before we move ahead. We're going to be getting into Seif Tes, number nine. So after we said there is a seal, that this seal is being made by the, 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 the leaders the admonishers of the generation that seal the verdict that has been decreed in the Shemayim. So the Chitzonim, the one outside, the Sitra Achra, will not, you know, suck from it. And with this seal, what if this seal is, 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 is spoiled, that causes exiles and strife and, 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 you know, heresy and, and whatever it is that's opposite of. Now, there is an outside seal that guards the inner seal. And this seal is when the people receive the, the cheat teachings and the admonishment of the Mochich Yador. Are out of the moon. They believe them, they believe in them, they believe that they want their best, and that's why they are open to receive uh, criticism, even though it may not make them feel good about themselves. That's not an issue. And when Chasu Khalila, the Amuna, that Amuna is damaged, which is the outside seal then the chitzonah can come to the inner seal. And not only that, but it causes heresies and false philosophies to come. We also mentioned that Emuna is acquired by, you know, that Emuna to be able to receive the admonishment is acquired by getting close to the seven uh, um, shepherds of the generation. And in order, in order to get close to, the, to those, you need fierceness and boldness, azos de kedusha, in order to escape the, the, the shepherds of Sitra Achra. And in, in order to break the the, the fierceness, the boldness, coarseness of the body, of its status, that he should be able, that will enable a person to receive the illumination and the attainments and the asogas of the Chacham. So we established there is a need for Azus the Kedusha to break the Azus of the body. Obviously, we're talking about the body. Talking about, you know, the 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 awareness, the the the, the cognitive uh, awareness of a person, which is you know the bodily aspect and the spiritual aspect of the body, as it were. Um, so you'll be able to, when you are breaking the others of the body the body itself can receive the illuminations of, of the neshama. The neshama gets. 
And the way that you are able to acquire the Azaz de Kedusha is through voices of Kedusha. It says it's calling out, it's shoifer, it's it's anocha, you know, a groan, a sigh. And this, in order that the body should hear the Kodesh of the Kedusha of the Neshama, as well as a person should hear the voice of the Kedusha, the anocha, the Kedusha, the cause of the of the Chacham. That, that's why the Chacham, in order for you to be able to receive from the home, you have to be a, a bosser, a flesh to the Chacham, a flesh to your Neshama. The Neshama is who you are, and your, your, your body is the servant, is the flesh that serves, that means to serve, supposed to serve the Neshama. So, the same mechanism that applies between you and the Chacham applies between you and the body and the Neshama. And now we are going to find out, you know, how you actually get to the Azaz de Ketusha, and the way you get to it is through Simcha. And we're going to talk about, okay, Simcha is, we always look at it something that is easier said than done. You know, um, tonight I'm happy or I'm not happy or whatever it is. The Rebbe says in Simon Tess as follows. The love of the Kedusha and I'll, in order to achieve, to arrive at that fierceness and boldness, the Kedusha or the Simcha. Because the main is chaskos, the main impetus, the main boost that the person gets to avoid his Hashem is through simcha, through joy. Bilchinas, as it says, ki chedvas Hashem him uzchem. For the, the joy of Hashem is your strength, is your boldness, is your fierceness. Chedus Hashem, the simcha of Hashem is your azus. Through simcha and chedva and joy, you get azus and strength in Abedus Hashem. Even though we said before, the way to get the azus is through voices, voices of the in order to complete the Azaz de Kedusha, you need both the voices of Kedusha as well as Simcha. Because it's through the Simcha that the person is actually Zoycha to add the koilus to voices, to sounds of Kedusha. Now the Rebbe digs deeper, and he says, Hainu, in other words, that simcha, that strength, resilience, producing simcha, Hainu adei p'chinas nasa v'nishma shu p'chinas simcha. Through an aspect of nasa v'nishma, we will do, and we will hear, that's what Am Yisrael said in our Sinai, before they received the term. And, okay, so how do you know that Nasa Venishma is equivalent to a Simcha? It says in the Gemara Shabbos, at the time when Amisrael said Nasa Venishmo, Yordu Shishim Riba Malachim came down 600,000 angels. The Nosnu Shnei Atores Veroskal Echad. And they put uh, two crowns on the heads of each one of Amisrael. One Keneged Nasa, and the other one, Keneged Nishma. 
וכשחוטו ונאב ישראל סינד עם הגולדן קאף, נלקחו. These crowns were taken away. וחז"ל says, ואוסיד הקודש ברוך הוא להחזירם להם. And in the future, הקודש ברוך הוא will return those crowns to the people of Israel. שנאמר, for it is said, here is within the verses, ושמחס אוילם על רוישלם. An eternal gladness, eternal joy is on their heads. Nimtzo, therefore, you found here Shem Nasev and Nishma. I mean, we're saying, oh, Kedish Baruch is going to bring them back. How do you know it's going to bring them back? He says, we're going to be in eternal joy, eternal uh, simcha on their heads. Before we said they had two crowns, right? One Kenegad Nasev and one Kenegad Nishma. When we say Kedish Baruch is going to bring it back, we says here they have happiness over their head. This is a proof that Nasa and Nishma, those crowns, were comprised of Simcha. That's what Simcha is. Nimtza she Nasa and Nishma p'china Simcha. P'china se Simcha s'olam al Roshom. And an eternal joy is on the heads. So bef- before we go on, let's just touch a little bit more it's obvious that Nasev and Nishmo, when Am Yisrael said Nasev and Nishmo, as a nation, it was by far the finest hour. Am Yisrael gets out of Mitzrayim, Trust in HaKadosh Baruch Hu implicitly, getting all the way through to uh, Har Sinai, 49 days, 50 days, receiving the Torah, before they receive the Torah, they ask if they want to receive the Torah, and they said, everything HaKadosh Baruch Hu is will say, we will do and we will hear. In other words, we're not even waiting to hear it to find out if it makes sense, if we we'll like it, if we don't like it. First of all, we're obligating ourselves to do whatever Hashem says. And then we will listen to find out what it is that Kodesh Baruch wants us to do which is exactly the opposite of all the, all the other nations said. First, the Baruch went to all the other nations and says, do you want to receive the Torah? The first thing that every nation said, what's written in it? So to Esau, he said, al tirzach, you can't kill. Esau said, no, I can't do that. He says, my blessing is I should live on my sword. Another nation, you know, they said, do not steal. I said, what do you mean? This, this is how we make our living. Just ask the Bedouins in, in, in the Negev and you'll find out. That's, that's what they do. You know, free enterprise means coming and taking what's yours. So we can't take it. We can't accept the term. Another nation said, you know, says, you know, that's enough. You know, don't, 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 don't commit uh, uh, adultery. I mean, that's, I mean, we, we are building our culture on quote unquote grand passion. It means grand passion supersedes any other kind of uh, calculations. I mean, people, people ruin families. Or quote unquote grand passion, it's just Tivus Neof. We can receive the term. Kim Tan Israel Israel said, Whatever Hashem says, we will do. Now let's hear. This has put Am Israel forever, forever 
in a totally different stature. We make a bracha every single day. That's what we mentioned on Monday. Make a bracha every single day. Shalos and Then bracha is supposedly a little, you know, what's what's the difference? Okay, well, so we have Torah, they don't have Torah. Uh, you know, they have other things. You know. They're good looking, some of them are good looking, some of them are not, some of them are smart, some of them are stupid, some of them are good, some of them are bad, you know, like, a, so yeah, you know, we are, we we belong to, you know, to Amistral, and Amistral is the chosen nation, but we're not really filled with gladness. Why not? Why aren't we filled with this joy? The reason is that that knowledge that we are amsegula is a theoretical knowledge. We still measure ourselves in physical terms, material terms. I have money, I don't have money. I'm smart, I'm stupid, I'm important, not important. I'm living up to my potential, I'm not living up to my potential, whatever the case may be. The only way that a person can actually achieve his potential is by actually disregarding all these opinions that he has about himself. Because the, by far the most uh, meaningful attribute about you is that you're not a goy. Why say not a goy? Why say a Jew? Why say not, not a goy? because it is impossible to define what a Jew is. It's a godly creature. It's a godly stature. You can't, you can't explain it. You can't possibly wrap your mind around it. This is achieved with Nasa Vanishma. Mimele Nasa Vanishma is Silchas Olam Arashim. The minute that, I mean, the Kodesh Baruch Hu is everything, Kodesh Baruch Hu is eternity, Kodesh Baruch Hu is all there is. The minute that you are in his camp, per definition, there's no greater joy than that. This world may hide it from you a little. And nevertheless, when you are willing to give up, you know, the sophisticates, uh, being sophisticated <laughs> in understanding who you are and what you are about, you're saying, I am not a goy. I am, I belong to Hashem. I'm part of his camp forever forever. You see, even though the golden calf followed immediately afterwards, supposedly, you know, that should, you know, have, have uh, undone this incredible achievement of Nasa Venishma, but it hasn't. Temporarily, yes. The simcha was removed. The, the crowns were removed. Because Baruch is going to bring it back. In other words, potentially, it's already ours. We just have to work hard for it. And this is what Rabbeinu says as follows. Veda kishnei ha'adayim, the two crowns, she'ichtira b'chayrov minasa minishma, that were crowned in the Mount of Chorov and Nasa minishma, 
which is a simcha through which you get as the Ktushan. Hem, now we're getting to the very beginning of the Torah. Hem, chinas breishis baro. Breishis baro. Av, the ben, mama, chotzi mama, and so forth and so forth. We said something that's new in the very beginning of the Torah. Do you remember that? Now we're coming back to that. In Chinas Beris Breishis Baro, it is said in Sefer that's new, so in the Zoya Pasha's Truma, that we said in the beginning, Breishis Da Maima. Breishis is a saying, a full, complete saying. Baro is Chatzimama, is half a saying. Because bara is the first three letter of Bereshis. So it's half of Bereshis. Da Edeni Lo Eden Tatar. This is the supernal Eden and the lower Eden. Chachma Yiloi, that is supernal Chachma. The Chachma Tatar and the lower Chachma. Av Uben, a father and son. We went through this at great length in the beginning of the term. So we have here two sides, <coughs> sorry, and they correspond with another. Maimar is the supernal Eden. The upper Chochmah, the Prinas Av, the father. Chetzimama is the other side. Is Chetzimama, Ben, lower Chochmah, and so forth and so on. Now, the upper Maimar, the complete mama is nishma. That's the higher level. Chetzi mama, half a saying. The sun, the lower the, the, the lower chokma is nasa. Again, brachis is mama shalem. Father, this is Nishma. You haven't reached it yet. You didn't hear it yet. That's what's coming next. Nasa is that's what you can do. That's right in front of you. That's the sun. That's the half a mama. That's the lower chachma. That's Eden Tata. Now, Bikinas of Anishma says Rabbeinu, Obchinos Nistaras Venigmas. Nas of Anishma is euphemism to things that are known or knowable and things that are hidden or unfathomable or unknowable. Nas is Prinas Niglis. Nasa is that which is revealed, that which is attainable. Now that we're talking about the mitzvahs that each and every one of us can do according each one according to the Nishmo, however, the, the Nishmo, the Prinas Nistaras that talks about the hidden aspects. That which is above and hidden from you. You can utilize it to serve a Kodesh with it. You don't know. You don't know what to do with it. You don't even know what it is. Now Rabbeinu goes and shines a spotlight on something that we have never thought of before. Lemashal, for instance, it's a called mitzvah, when the Torah spells out the mitzvah, by each mitzvah, there are dvarim shesvivas a mitzvah, there are things that are around the mitzvah. In other words, besides the fact, besides the, the directive, the order to do the mitzvah, because the Torah says, listen, this is what you need to do. There's also other things in the Torah, for instance, Vedabar Hashem al Moshe. Hashem said to Moshe, Tell Bnei Israel to keep the Shabbos. So, okay, keeping the Shabbos, we understand, we can do that. 
But what about the Vaidabar Hashem El Moshe? There's no, there's no wasted words in the term. The tremendous secrets and tools with which we can serve Kaddish Baruch Hu in the words that seem to be, you know, the Echatimtza, that the, that thing which brings you about. You, you want to know chronologically how it happened, you know, just like a, Hashem said to Moshe, say to Am Yisrael to keep the Shabbos. So it seems like that's like a, a, a second rate. That's a, okay, that's part of the term, but that's not so. Rabbeinu is revealing to us something which is counterintuitive. It's exactly the opposite. That which we know, we keep Shabbos, that's the nigla, that's the nasa. The secrets that are hidden in the words around the directive to keep the Shabbos is the nishma. Because we don't have the tools with which to decipher what's the secrets embedded in those words. And the avoida that can be done, uh, that should be done in the words of the Torah, which are is surrounding the mitzvah, which is, you know, uh, preempting the mitzvah after the mitzvah. And bchinas nishma. This is a bchina of nishma. That's a higher bchina, bchinas nista. It's 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 hidden. Can mitzvah be atzma on the holy kayan? The actual mitzvah we can keep. But what avoida is in these dibur that seem to be just just there to serve or, you know, like, I don't know, I don't say adornment, but because the Torah could have said, keep the Shabbos, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. Why do we have to say that Shabbos is Tomei, Shabbos is Tomei? Now, there is a reason why these dibur are there. There is a voidus Hashem that, that can be reached in those dibur, but we don't know what it is because it seems like Almost like second best. It's almost like okay, it comes to serve the actual mitzvah, but it's not. There is a void in those diburim that is way beyond us. So this prinas nishma. Ach avoid the sheyesh bela diburim ein anu yodim. We don't know what is avoid in these diburim. So it seems like there's nothing there, but there is. The zeh prinas nishma. This, these Diburim are an aspect of Nishma, we will hear, an aspect of Nista, of hidden, unfathomable. Now, first of all, Rabbein is going to explain this whole Indian of Nasa and Nishma. And then Rabbeinu will explain how this leads to Simcha. And he says that this union of Nasev and Nishma, there's a parallel between this and the concept of Torah and Tefillah. Okay? Torah is Nasev. You know what to do. Tfila is that what you would like to do, but it's still not there. It's still a formal, it's still ethereal. In other words, the Nihilas. You know what to do. You know what to be Makai. The Nishma and Prinas Nistara is. That's the hidden part. Has the Bura Tero, which is the Burim Shalat Tero, Misvivas and Mitzvah, that are around the Mitzvah. Shem Pchinas Nistar Kanah. But you don't know how to serve a Kazbaho with it. The Pchinas Tveikus, this is Tfilo. Tfilo, Tfilo basically means Naftule Lokim Niftalti, that Leah said. Tfilo means that you are glued to Kazbaho. You're fused with the Kaddish Baruch Hu. Kishmiya Talia Vazima. 
because the hearing, in other words, you hear something, not just that you hear the sound, but you hear what is being said, that you hear that, that which is you know, being told to you, that depends on the heart. As Shlomo Melech said, you give to your slave, Shlomo Melech, a hearing heart. So you'll be able to do mishpat. For definition, the service, the service of the heart is tefillah. So since the nishma depends on the heart, and the tefillah is the avoid of the heart, so now we put the two and two together. That nishma is tefillah. Okay, so okay, so we 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 managed to put some words together that this proves that fine. But what is the deeper Indian there? Then it says, Hainu Bitul Vedvekusla Ensof. The ultimate fila, which is the ultimate of Hashem, is Beetle, is being, I don't know, canceled out. I don't say annihilated. I, mean, I don't even know what the word for Beetle. And vacus and fusing yourself to Ainsof, to infinity. To Kodesh Baruch, which is called Ainsof, which is above all the upper realms. Ki Ainsof, infinity is something, there's no, there's no, you can't grasp infinity. The only thing you can do is just, just be bottled to it, just be fused to it, you know, basically like disappearing. And since you, you don't have any grasp on it, like the words around the mitzvah, you don't have any tisa into that. It's called Pchinas Tfilo Dveikos, which is only beetle to ensof. Because the Tfilo ultimately is beetle infusing to Kaddish Baruch Hu above the level of comprehension above the level of sechel is only what we call the gefil, the feeling of your heart. That what that you are yearning for Kodesh Baruch, that you want to get closer to Kodesh Baruch. This is nishma. That is called nishma. This is a, a madrega that there's no comprehension in it because there's no definition in it. Because there's no differentiation between you and Akadish Baruch, you're one. You're totally caught about into Akadish Baruch. There's no I left to understand. Okay, I understand. It depends on the heart that you're longing to Akadish Baruch. To what? You're longing to get to a higher madriga than the one that you're holding on today. And when you are, you are looking with all your heart to get to the higher madriga, with this, you're actually canceling yourself to that higher madriga. And you adavali to Kaddish Baruch greatly, they should be zoichel to get this particular madriga. Let's hold here text-wise, and like concentrate on what is actually saying to us, Lamaisa. How do we, how is how are we supposed to use this, Lamaisa? Every one of us finds himself uh, facing. Tremendous difficulties that at the time may seem insurmountable. Could be in the name of Euro, it could be in the name of staying away from certain things that I should not be doing. It could be 
problems waking up in the morning, could be problems in actually be uh, be mechavan in the tefillah. And while you are at that particular madriga, there's you don't feel that there's any chance for you to ever overcome it. You tried so for a day or two, you managed to sort of like you know hold on to this new madriga, and boom, you find yourself where you were before. The only thing that you can bring to the table then is a broken heart. I want to get there because I know that's what Hakadosh Baruch wants from me. This is what I need to accomplish. So it may feel it can feel frustrating. Like I'm trying and trying and trying, and it doesn't work. You know, I'm not achieving that. The answer is that thing that you are not achieving is prinos nishmo. Those longings that you have to do that which you as of yet cannot do or understand that which you cannot understand and so forth and so on. This is prinos nishmo. Now I said, okay, you know, you go into the measures, you can put on film, you can put on talis and film, you can say the brachas, you can say whatever. But then there are higher things. How am I holding my mind to mean the words that I'm saying? How do I keep my my mind clean from things that I know (laughs) that I should be clean from? And This is Nishma. The source of our frustrations is the Madrega of Nishma. The only way to get to it, to get through it, to achieve it, is through Tfilo. So beg a Kashbaru, come to him and say, I want to be clean. I want to be able to do what you want me to do. And you want me to do this. That's the Navi. That's what Yeshayah says. He comes to Kodesh with, suppose as Am Yisrael says, Lama takshiach libeinu mirasecha. The Navi says, why do you harden our heart? He knows we don't feel here as Hashem. Why do you keep us away from you? That's it. Yeshayah Navi is saying that. This is Prinas Nishm. This is Kisufim. This is longing. This is avoid Hashem. If you feel frustrated, I can I can't do it. I can't achieve it. You're just where where it's at. Keep on asking for it, and it'll come. Bezat Hashem. Atkan for tonight, and it's Hashem tomorrow. We have. Uh, we're learning in the breast of the shul on Lachish. Rabbi Weiss, I hope I see you there. And uh, it was about eight o'clock. It's a shame. Last week, I was actually late. I, I figured there will be you there at like 8.30, whatever. Hold on just one second. <clears throat>